I remember telling a teacher that I wanted to become a barrister and he said, no, no, people like you don't become barristers. You should really, really think about that. You get to represent people who don't have a voice, who feel like they're forgotten. I'm really proud that I've overcome many obstacles to reach this moment. So my story starts in Brixton, in Mitesville Estate, a tight-lit family community where you know, my mum would cook big Caribbean meals and share with the neighbours. I think long summer days and cookouts changed slightly when many people in the community felt left behind, felt like they didn't have a voice and many of them felt, fell into the life of crime. One day coming back from school and sort of seeing police tape being lined around my area of, of my home, your neighbours' doors being, being knocked down, um, people being stabbed, being aware of the criminal justice system from a very young age. I didn't want that sort of lifestyle for myself. I remember my grandmother and my mother saying to me, you know, you can't make your, your surroundings affect you too much and you have to be determined and you have to stay strong. And also to actually fund my career at the bar, I had to um, self-fund £19,000, which was, I mean, it, it, it wasn't easy. I think me, my mum and my sister, we had to work multiple jobs to fund um, my legal professional course. So it was really stressful. I lost my hair through stress. You will meet challenges along the way, but you have to persevere. I think the lack of diversity has been an issue in the justice system. But what I would say is we have come a long way and it's slowly changing. I think if people like me stick it out and um, show people that it is possible to become a barrister and you know, no matter what obstacles you're faced with, you can become anything you want. Yeah, my grandma was incredibly proud. Uh, she just, she, she, can't, she cannot keep talking about it. I think every now and again she calls me and she says, how's my little barrister doing? For somebody like her who came um, from the West Indies and settled in here in Brixton, she probably didn't think her young grandson would become a part of the bar.